What's going on guys, it's your boy Gambino coming at you with a brand new video. So in today's video, I've actually been keeping something from you guys. I have more games than I've led you guys on to believe. I have, this is one of the, the mini stacks, a lot of games that I haven't showed you guys. Me and my brother had a very large PS2, Xbox 360, and Wii collection that I haven't included in my total or any of my other videos. But today we're going to be going through the Xbox 360 catalog and looking at what I have and getting recommendations from you guys for what games I should pick up next and if I should continue working on my 360 collection. So we're going to start out with one of my favorite game series. I've divided everything up a little bit to uh, make it a little more seamless. One of my favorite series of all times was Assassin's Creed. So I have multiple Assassin's Creed games. We've got Assassin's Creed 1, Black Flag, Revelations 3 and 2. Yeah, so we've got all of the Assassin's Creed games. Assassin's Creed was one of those games that I loved playing. I 100%ed 2, 3, Brotherhood and Black Flag and they were just very solid titles. I'll be throwing some b-roll up of the games right now while I'm talking about it, but those were some of my, I have some of my favorite memories playing those games right there. Uh, to keep this video kind of rolling, we're gonna get into the next section, Call of Duty. So you'll probably see doubles of a few of these Call of Duties, like there's two World at Wars, two Modern Warfare 2s, a couple Black Ops 2s. That's just because me and my brother uh, we both had an Xbox, and he didn't keep any of his collection, so I have all of them. So I have a few extra of some of them. Call of Duty is one of those games loved playing growing up. Yeah, I was a huge Zombies fan back in the day, and got into sniping towards the later Call of Duties around Black Ops 2 to Ghost. I really got into the sniping community, so I was doing a lot of that. Started watching Phase, things like that. Yeah, so Call of Duty has a massive place in my collection. Um, I'm super excited for everything to be coming to Game Pass eventually with this Ac Microsoft Activision acquisition. But yeah, that's all of my Call of Duty games. Next, another series I remember playing hours and hours of is Battlefield. So yeah, I have Battlefield one, two, three, four, and both the bad companies. These were amazing games. I remember hours and hours of learning how to fly the helicopters and jets and like getting extremely good at that. I have in Battlefield 3, I remember spending hours on the ship, sniping cross maps, seeing who could get the furthest shot. I remember my furthest was like 700 something meters or something like that. It was insane. It was a great series. Next, we'll be getting into a game that I'm sure everyone has played on some console. Uh, Grand Theft Auto V, hundreds of hours into this game. E everyone knows how fun that game is. I'm super excited to see what they have coming in store for GTA 6. I'd love to see more of that. Yeah, moving on right along, we've got Far Cry 2 and 3. 2, I just remember being so difficult. I remember always getting malaria and never knowing how to cure it. So I just remember that being a trouble. And then Far Cry 3, feel like I beat it, but I do not remember the ending. I don't even think I ever played Far Cry 4. That was a fun series. I just, I did, couldn't get into it too much. Next, we have a couple of games that I honestly never played much of, and that is Gears of War. I put next to no time into either of these games. I don't know. I couldn't get behind the third person aspect of it that these two games require. I don't know. It just, it never felt right to me. I was much more of a Halo kid which is actually the next series we're gonna look at. Yeah, so I have Halo Reach, Combat Evolved Anniversary, Halo Wars, ODST, Halo 3, but I do have Halo 4. I loved playing all of these games, hours and hours into all of them. I got all of the achievements in most of them. I think I'm missing like one in Halo Wars, one in Halo 3. Um, I hit max rank in Halo Reach. Yeah, so just so much time playing those games. Great series. Next, we're going to be getting into some games that we're not really going to cover much. That is Seen It, Connect Adventures, and Fantastic Pets. Three Connect and Family Party games. Wasn't a big fan of those. Yeah, so next we're going to be going through a, another stack of games right here. A bunch of random titles that I don't have big collections of, such as Medal of Honor, Payday 2, Dragon Ball Z, Lego the Movie. I have two copies of Rock Band. I, I'm sure one's broken. Jurassic The Hunted. I remember this being a really fun but difficult game. I don't remember much more about it though. And then I have Lord of the Rings Conquest. I honestly have no memory of playing that, but I'm sure it was a fun game. Saints for the Third, lots of hours into this. Next is Fable 2. I have never played this one. My brother played it a lot. 
I played Fable 1 and Fable 3, so I'm interested in potentially getting back into this. Another one I've never played is Quake Wars. This was one of my brother's favorite games. He would sit up and play hours and hours with that all the time. We have uh, Spider-Man. It's actually my cousin's game he gave to me. Never played it, but it's a solid title. I also have Hitman. Lots of hours into this. Plants vs. Zombies. Fun game. It's my little brother's favorite game. And Portal 2. This was from my buddy Rossi. You've seen in uh, a few shorts if you watch those. He, I bought, I believe, this and maybe one or two other games from him a while back. Yet, yeah, last but not least, a game I put hundreds of hours into, uh, Dragon's Dogma. This game was incredible. I put so many hours into it on 360, and then even wound up buying it for PS4 later, just to play it again on another console. I'm super excited for Dragon's Dogma 2. I can't wait to see what they have coming in store for that, but such a great game. Capcom makes great games. And one more thing I haven't shown yet is my Halo Reach Special Edition. So Halo Reach was one of those games where I was super pumped to get the actual game that I wound up getting the medium tier special edition. I wish I would have got the higher tier one, but I was a kid. I couldn't afford it back then. This one has a mystery package thing in it. And within that package is a journal, Halsey from the story's journal. It just kind of shows more about what happened throughout the uh, story and the creation of Spartans, which is super cool. I like having little memorabilia like this. I just don't want to have too much of this that it takes up space for the games. So yeah, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna be storing all this stuff. I don't currently have a shelf for everything, so I may be having to get another shelf, but currently all my other stuff is filling up, so I'm gonna need another shelf for that. So I'm running out of room, and I need to think of some better solutions. So if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. But anyway, guys, that's all I have for today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow the channel. At 250 subs, we're going to be doing a giveaway. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Check out all of the community tab posts that I have for more information on that. But anyway, guys, peace.